Hello guys, uh, on my last class we uh, saw the database memory parameter and the database memory threshold parameter. Okay, uh, so in this video I'll go uh, with the lock list and the max lock parameter. Uh, these both parameters work in tandem, so I'll go through uh, both the parameter today. Uh, so what is lock list? Uh, lock list is basically the memory which is been allocated uh, for the database locks. Okay, now this is the total amount of memory which will be allocated for the locks okay uh, this value will be in 4 kb and uh, here i have set the value to a manual value okay and max lock is the percentage of lock which has been allocated per application okay now for example if you set the lock list to 100 mb and you set this value to 10 max lock is set to like 10 percentage then every application can go up to 10 percentage of 100 mb which is basically 10 mb okay so app, uh, the lock available per application will be 10 mb so that is the difference like lock list is total memory and uh, max lock is the memory uh, lock list memory per application okay now um, to understand how lock list and max lock work uh, let's see the uh, presentation i made okay now uh, assume this is my total lock list memory uh, the, the whole big box over here okay and at the at this point uh, we have three application app one app two app three okay and uh, based on our max lock setting this is the amount of memory which is available per application okay you see this box right this rectangular box so this is the uh, mem uh, lock list memory available per application okay now imagine um, that application one is trying to update this row one okay now what will happen is it will put a lock on that particular row of data okay so before we understand why it is putting a lock right uh, we need to understand why a database locks um, a row or data okay for example in a real life scenario where you are trying to book a movie ticket or your train ticket or bus ticket right um, now two person just imagine like two persons are able to book the same seat well, you know what will happen right they will end up uh, bashing each other so basically when we book a ticket we the application should make sure that it, it is locking that particular seat so that no other person can come uh, just try to book the same t uh, same seat or ticket right so how how it works basically it locks the uh, particular seat when someone is trying to book the ticket and that ticket will, uh, and the seat will be released only after the transaction has been committed or rolled back right now um, and that is the basic concept behind the locking why we lock so that that the application don't collide with each other right now imagine uh, we have this application uh, it is trying to uh, update this particular row over here okay so it has put a lock on that particular row now again it is trying to access row 2 okay uh, now again it is trying to like access row 3 row 4 and row 5 so what happens now like um, he has basically exhausted his entire lock list memory which was available to the application one right because it has consumed almost like some for example if my max lock was set to five percentage now it he has consumed all of that five percentage of lock list memory at this point what would happen is there's something called lock escalation okay till now he was just locking the rows right row one row two row three row three as soon as he exhausts the memory limit or the lock list memory limit he had the row level lock will change into a table level lock okay so and in turn he will also get some free lock list memory okay because those five uh, row level locks which he held have been changed into one single table level lock right so he will get little of uh, free uh, free lock list memory for his usage okay 
but the downside of this um, log escalation is he is now locking the entire table okay now example for example if app2 was trying to access the same table okay uh, if he try to access the same table at this point he will not be able to access because this table has been locked by the app1 okay so the concurrency of the application will impact here because app2 is not able to access the table okay but in the beginning when he was act trying to access the different rows of a table uh, app2 will also be act tried able to access the table not the same row but at least he was he was able to access the table but due to lock escalation of this uh, uh, from the app application one now uh, a lock has been put on the table so any other application for example app2 or app3 will not be able to access the a table which was accessed by app1 okay uh, but application will uh, have um, free lockless memory available for him to maybe do another um, transactions from his side okay so um, just to revise the lockless is the total memory allocated um, for the locks and max lock is a percentage of lock per application okay and max lock will determine when the lock escalation will happen okay and one more thing uh, one more very important thing is when you set the lock list to automatic you need to make sure that you set the max lock also to automatic otherwise your um, tuning will not work okay thank you guys thanks for watching